Yes, sir. This year? Y'all asked for the audio book, so it's going down. You know what I'm saying? You already know we got the average kid in here. Yes, sir. You finna get the content for you know us. Work. Yes, sir. Linked up with Ace One again. For real. We in the stew. Sense makes change. Act one. Just about everything in life comes and goes. People are the same. It's called the Youth Development Center for a reason. The whole purpose of the center is to empower the youth and make a positive impact on our lives. You trying to bring negativity here. Let me do that, that last part. You trying to bring... You trying to bring negativity here? Papa laughed short and loud. <laughs> you sound like a mark. Negativity? Nah, little man. This all positive. This time, Papa reaches into his pocket. He pulls out a stack of bills, only slightly, and Chris widens his eyes. They're all hundreds. Everybody can't live that suit and tie life, Papa says by way of explanation. You gonna sell yourself on that excuse? Chris says. That ain't no excuse. Yes, I wouldn't make nothing like this up. He used to come into my room in the middle of the night. He would sit on my bed and start to rub on me. Then he would lay down beside of me and take my pants off. You didn't scream? No, Steph says with a sigh. I was scared, and he told me that he would kill my mom and my brother if I made any noise. So I'd just have to lay there and cry silently while this man took advantage of me. And when he was finished, I would just lay there and cry. Nikki sits in silent for a long moment, processing the information. So you never told your mom? Steph sighs. Yes, but she didn't believe me. Now that I'm grown and think back on it, I believe she felt like I was trying to get at him. She would just call me fast and say, I need to stop making up these stories. She even beat me the second time that I spoke on it. So I left it alone. He cried for his sister. He saw I had been telling the truth. Nikki has never seen her friend cry like this, and she watches with wide eyes. I'm so sorry to hear that, Steph. I would never have thought something like this would have happened to you. Steph sees Nikki's concerned expression and breathes a deep sigh. She begins to wipe her tears from her face as best as she can. It's cool. I'm over it now. After that happened, I looked at life totally different. I hated all men and didn't want anything to do with them. Then I started having mood swings and blaming myself. I was angry. I wanted revenge. So as I got older, I started sleeping around with guys and then leaving them, thinking I was breaking their hearts. But really, I was belittling myself and didn't realize it. It took me a long time before I was able to speak about it to people. But I...